Hello again. Hello again. I'm Zachary Hines. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank um, you. Live Warfield in the flesh. Welcome back to the stage of history. I'm so oh. glad I could actually meet you. Thank you. In person, you know. Thank you. When I was notified that that you was out and about on television and stuff like that, and VHL was pushing you, yeah. I was like, okay, I want to know about this. That's I'm cool. I'm trying to find out about what's going on in mm -hmm. new music, mm -hmm. but not just new music. Mm -hmm. What's going on in live music that's actually pushing us forward as a people? I remember when I was learning about you, your major focus was bringing the live sound, bringing that organic thing, mm -hmm. you know, because I was one to always believe that music is a part of you. You tell a story, you yeah. know, the way you deliver it, the way each note is put together. Mm -hmm. The more we rely on technology, mm -hmm. the more we rely on ourselves to make mistakes. True. I, um, like we were having a conversation before, I feel that the human action and interaction between that instrument is is critical um it's a feeling it's a spirit it's just something that's moving throughout all of us um all 11 horns 10 horns that are up there on the stage like even how the drummer hits even he hits a snare uh technology can't hit a snare like a human no no way you know what i'm saying <laughs> no, i know exactly what you're saying it's like bernard purdy's you know what i mean there's no shuffle like bernard purdy shuffle yeah, there's no shuffle. you know yeah. so those elements, why people love that music back then, even for me, is because it's that human element. It's that, I think, even when you hear Earth, Wind, and Fire, and you hear all yes. those horns, that's that human element I feel like people are missing. And uh, I, I, have to, I do have to thank Prince for that because we are kind of part of that purple university that he's kind of brought us under and reminding us all the time to preserve that music before us. How was Prince really help you tell your story musically? Um, honestly, I think Prince really allowed me to be fearless in it. Um, usually sometimes when you second guess, it's usually the first instinct. Oh. <laughs> so when it's the first instinct and when you know it's what it is, go with it. Um, I, you know, in the album that I have now, The Unexpected, it was crazy because I've had some of these songs written for quite some time, for like six years, and they were good. Mm -hmm. um, not until I started working around with Prince and I st just started to pick up things I and mean, you can't help but to pick up stuff from him. Yeah. Um, you also can't help but to learn about like sometimes you got to let the music speak and you have to let it breathe and let it be what it is. Um, let the um, instrumentation speak, let the bass speak, let the horn speak, let's not kind of topple all over each other. Um, I've learned that a lot from really listening and opening up my ear from him, the writing and arranging. You know, I was just like, oh man, I don't think that will fit. But let me tell you, working around Prince, he will make it fit. And you're just like, okay, oh. that's crazy. Tell me about the unexpected. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? What's the news oh, you're trying to give the people? What's the story you're trying to tell there? There's so many stories. Uh, this album was very inspired by several different things. Like I love old black exploitation movies. Yeah, man, we'll get you sucker. Uh, see, listen, and and uh, Cleopatra Jones is one of my favorite, yeah. and I love <laughs> Casino Gold. So what it honestly started out was, um, I saw the chase scene in a uh, Cleopatra movie, Cleopatra Jones movie, and I said if I could write the musical to this movie, what would it sound like? And then after that, it just the album kind of just. It flowed within itself like okay I see this scene I see you know um, the you know when she has the fight scene with the lady and uh, I forgot her name but just it's just something about her was very sexy very strong I like muscle cars she likes muscle cars <laughs> I my father rides motorcycles she rides a motorcycle so I just thought there was something so empowering but she still kept it classy if you could encourage the young people out there and the people who have dreams mm -hmm. what would you share with them i think most importantly for me is just i never gave up on it even when times i wanted to even times when as an independent artist things don't seem to be going your way um because we know sometimes it's hard to kind of break through with all these sounds that are happening and with all this material coming out um never give up never go for the flavor of the month or the flavor of the week because it's kind of like a fingerprint you're your own distinct fingerprint you know you're your own dna there's something special about that you're your own unique you're your own unique person so you stick with that and don't change from that i thankfully did not change from it i 
trust me I've wanted to be like oh maybe if I did this and I alter my sound maybe they'll probably pay attention and be hot and I was like no because that's not really who I am do you a little harder absolutely <laughs> exactly exactly just do me a little bit harder and and then it will it will show and it will break through it will break through the mold I promise that but you can't give up on it and you have to be passionate about it and it takes a, a lot of hard work people under don't understand it takes a lot of hard work and it you will see the fruits of it open up for you but you have to be able to want to seek the information want to go out and get right. the information you want to be able to talk to the people before you you know sometimes we often think that we know it all and we don't okay <laughs> because you have the internet and you have the access and sometimes you want people to people interaction yeah, the conversation that I'm having with you that's even more powerful and I think we've kind of lost that too the interaction of having your energy and my energy and just exactly and being able to talk about it um, I think that's important too is being able to kind of talk to each other you know and we're here the music family is an important family and it is um, and it can change the it can change lives and it can change the world honestly. you know so um, that's what's important just don't give up on it don't. I'm very grateful to have you here to talk with you about the music, the spiritual nature of it, the yes. shows, the fame, yes. the this, everything. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you, um, too. I'm, I'm glad that you're able to, still to this day, after all this time, still get your voice heard. And Thank it's a you. testament to everyone who ever wanted to get their voice heard and create music the way they wanted to, who truly yeah. believe themselves. Um, like I said before, it's a blessing. Thank you. Definitely a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank Ladies you. Ladies and gentlemen, Liv Warfield.